uh, hello everyone I will show you four I think really remarkable things about Emacs and how you can use Emacs to work on your virtual machines in this case so uh, I will show you how I'm using Emacs on this example so this is a, a database that I developed uh, many years ago actually um, that uh, is a, is a database of spliceosomal proteins, lots of information about the proteins, fragments, various constructs and models, and uh, just I made a, a one thing that we can fix. Uh, so it's this missing file, but also we can also do some addition, and actually from Emacs we can run a Django server. So it's going to be fun. So first of all, uh, this server is a Django application that works on virtual machine. I'm connected to VPN so I can access this machine but I will use my local Emacs installed on my Mac which is wonderful because I can keep all my plugins on my setup all wonderful things uh, the same from my local machine so then whenever you connect you actually use your local Emacs you don't have to think about setup up uh, about setting up uh, Emacs independently on all these virtual machines, how many you have. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show, and it's quite remarkable, is, is how to execute things on your virtual machine. So actually, it's pretty cool that you can have uh, bookmarks. So this is a set of bookmarks to this virtual machine. In this case, uh, in this case I use uh, IP directly to access the machine. But, but if you when you f try to find a file and you type this IP IP, uh, Emacs will connect to this machine. It may take some time, it depends on the connection, but you will get there and well, voila, we are on this machine and we can see that there is a bunch of files and so on and so forth so what i want to do first is actually to run a django application that is beyond this server so actually when now now i refresh this it will actually uh, be broken so we can go back to this and actually we can find this application i can use my bookmarks so xrl and we can go directly to the application and uh, okay maybe application is in here actually we can go there and we can find uh, usually what i do i i, I create this uh, short bash script to start something so then i don't have to think about all the paths and so on and so forth it's super easy to use okay so now i'm editing a bash script that is on this virtual machine but actually so i can edit I can write something I can save it and so on and so forth so actually you can see that it's saving this file on this uh, virtual machine but what is really really amazing that actually you can run it from your uh, from your Emacs so you can execute this file so for whatever reason it doesn't work with the full path but it will work with the with the with the path to the file and yeah you can see that from my local Emacs actually I'm executing this script to run this Django. So when I refresh now, you can see that there is some uh, some information from the from the Django server. It was refreshed, I hope, uh, or not. Yeah, it is refreshed. It works. So so yeah, we're running this Django. We can type things, and it will be refreshed over here. So you can play around with this. So we'll keep it the server open, and then we can move to to bookmarks. So yeah, another wonderful thing is this: uh, you can see the the shortcuts over here. So you can have bookmarks. So you will have you can go directly to a given place. Uh, so uh, for example, imagine that you work on the you imagine you work on this on this protein. And you have a new file. I actually see that you have the log over here. Yeah, uh, yeah. The server wanted to get this file, but actually the file is missing. It's 404, so there is a problem. Uh, so to fix this problem, 
uh, yeah, I prepared this problem for this demo. So actually the problem is, so I am here and I just, so this is the, this is the direct uh, bookmark to this folder. So actually you can see that the file, I, yeah, I removed this file from this folder. So this is the, the missing file over here. So how to fix it? So I moved this file from virtual machine to my Mac. So the file is over here. So the easiest is just track and drop. This is how easy it is to put files on your virtual machine. So the file is there. You can see it. You can type G in Emacs, so it will be refreshed. Uh, you have full path, and this is the part of my yeah. So this is the part of the bookmark. The Django server is running, so everything is so the server is actually in this interpretation. Everything is fine, and now we can refresh this page, and there shouldn't be the error. The file is loading. Wonderful. There is no error, 200, everything works perfectly. So this is how, how you can drag and drop files. And I think the last, probably the last thing that we can do is just imagine that you have some mistake on the, on the page and this is Django, so you want to edit the template. So what you can do, you can go around in Emacs on this virtual machine, on this Django application, you can find templates there are many different ways how you can do it. Actually, you could just type proteins and go there, but I will just show you the, the simplest way. Just, just jump, jump around. So we can go to protein, HTML. And now we use Emacs to edit HTML file. So this is the file and imagine we want to change alignment. So we search for alignment. And this is, yeah, this is the alignment. This is the place where we can, what should we do here? I'm not sure, it looks pretty good. Okay, maybe we can change this, actually this for features. For features, use, file load. Uh, yeah, this is good, so, but yeah, okay, just let's put something. So we can just put, put, put XXX and just save it. And uh, yeah, you refresh the page and your XX is over there. So you can drag and drop files, but also you can on, kind of on the fly do this kind of edits. And it's on virtual machine, so you don't have to set up Emacs there even. You don't have to copy any files. Uh, you can if you want, but you don't have to. You can use all the tools that you have for your Emacs locally, uh, but you can connect to how many ma how many machines you actually want. So that's great. So you can go back to bookmarks, and uh, yeah, we can remove some of them. This was just for the demo, so we can type D and execute and remove it, and we can also remove the the the, the main one. We can type R. To, to relocate it and uh, yeah that's it I you know enjoy